it's day three now, it's 15.15 and well, I've missed my opportunity to go to the library because that shuts at five, like I said yesterday and well, that means I won't be able to go on the internet or watch TV until Monday because the library is not open on Sunday so oh, it's all going wrong Do you ever get that feeling where you can't do what you want to do, therefore you can't be asked to do anything? I've got the entirety of the dwarf, all of the Lord of the Rings films, four books, so much stuff on my computer. I can't be asked to watch any of it. Oh. I only want to go on Tumblr. That's so sad, isn't it? I only want to go on it because I can't go on it. That's the problem. Doing what I can't do. Or what I'm not allowed to do. That's what I love doing. Well, it's nice and sunny here today. So if there was someone with me, we'd probably go to the park. But there, there isn't, so I won't go on my own. Ugh. Don't know what I'm going to be doing now, really. Fifteen more days to go. I do at this point have to say that, despite the irony of it all, I am very enjoying 1984 by George Orwell. It's odd that. I think enjoyment's actually a thought crime in this book. Oh. Anyway, it's, well, a great read, <laughs> I suppose. It's by no means funny, it's actually quite depressing at some points, really, so far. A totalitarian regime controlling Britain. Britain's at war with someone, I don't know. And everything's illegal, pretty much. Emotion. If anyone's seen the films Equilibrium or V for Vendetta, they were both probably spawned from this book. It's very likely. When was it first printed? Uh, no idea. When it was first printed, in fact. Oh, hang on. Uh, 1949? Bloody hell. It's old. Yes. So they were spawned from this, not the other way around. So if you've watched either of them, it's quite like that, really. People being dragged off at night, being never to be seen again, being vaporised, all that. It's lovely. Thankfully, the world isn't like that yet. That's by 2084, eh? Or under the current leadership of David Cameron. Bastard. Anyway, right. It's five o'clock now. Uh, probably have dinner in a bit. I can't help but really hope that Terry does arrive soon. <laughs> I'm not sure if she's going today, or tomorrow, or the day after. She might be coming the last day I'm here, I don't know. But I hope she does turn up. Even for if for a day, we don't have company. Oh, uh, right, signing off again. Who knew that making pasta was so dangerous? I was nearly overcome with fume just then. Oh, the saucepans that was left by one of my housemates. So I don't know who. Apparently, it doesn't really matter. But it appeared to have what looked like dried on glue or something underneath. Underneath the well, on the bottom, I do. On the bottom of it, so I put it on the hob, left it for a couple of minutes, came down, and good God, the smell! Nearly set the smoke detectors off. In fact, open back door, the kitchen window. <laughs> Madness! It smelled so appallingly awful. 
But the thing is, all the other saucepans are disgustingly horrible on the inside. That's pretty much the only clean one on the inside. So I have a choice of either being killed by fumes or using a horrible, horrible saucepan. I've resorted to the latter. I thought that a horrible saucepan is better than horrible air. You know, air seems to be essential. I don't know why. Right. It's probably boiled over by now, so I came back in here just to lock the window. And I thought I'd give another quick update. 17.19 is the time. I know it was only a few minutes ago when I gave my last update, but that's not the point. Right. Anyway. Dinner time.